A storm was approaching the northeast, and as often the case, people were going into the grocery store to stack up on staples and other items. Uh, in the event that they were trapped inside because of the storm, they would have food and you know the various items that they need in their household. And while I was um, in the checkout line, I was observing, as I always do, how the cashiers were handling the various patrons coming through. It's always fascinating to listen to the dialogue, to listen to what's going on, because it'll tell you a lot about how to improve your own business and how to elevate what you do. Now, I heard uh, one uh, customer in front of me who was essentially saying to the cashier, why, it's awfully busy here at this time. This is really busy. Why is that? Is it because there might be a storm coming? And the cashier said, you know how it is. Uh, people think it's the end of the world and they all rush in to buy at the same time. And then on another line, there was a fellow who was trying to do a transaction and for whatever reason, his, his credit card was not working in the machine. And the uh, service desk was yelling across, try it again, try it again, and so forth. And, and she was saying, well, maybe it's not your card. Maybe it's our system. We've been having some problems with it. And then when that gentleman left, what the cashier was saying to the other person, now this fellow knew he didn't have that much money available on his credit card. He knew there was going to be a problem. And there are customers standing there. There are customers online. Everyone's checking out. Here's the point. When you are in a, uh, a business environment, a retail environment in particular, you're on stage. This is not a scenario where you are uh, there and you're, you're developing this kinship with the customer where you can talk uh, about what's going wrong with the business. You are on stage. You represent the business. You do not break character. You do not criticize your customer. I remember once being in a doctor's office and I was listening to the... Um, I guess the nurses or whatever they were, were talking to each other with the doctor. And in the next room, they were talking about a patient that had just left and criticizing the patient about how obsessive she was and how demanding she was and, and, and all of this. Obviously, there are other patients there listening. And what do you think is going to happen when you leave as a patient? They're going to be talking about you. So don't criticize your customers. You are there to create a fantasy. And that's whether you are at the highest levels of luxury or whether you are operating just a corner store. This is a fantasy experience. That's why you put together beautiful displays. That's why you have music piped in. That's why you might have people wearing uniforms or you decorate the place because you are bringing them into your world. And your world is where you are able to present an experience that they enjoy. They enjoy buying. They might buy more because the experience is so good. That is not the time to talk about and criticize the customer. What you should be saying as a cashier is, sir, do you have everything you need? You know the storm that's coming might be a big one. Do you have uh, everything you need? We've got a sale on this. We've got a sale on that. We just brought some other things out. There might be some other things you need before you get home. Now, as it turns out, it was a major storm and many people were without electricity for days as a result. Wouldn't that have been a great opportunity to sell more to that person, to service them more, you see, these are opportunities, and if we don't train our people to recognize them and respond to them accordingly, we'll squander those opportunities. This is not just a place where it's a pass-through. You are in business, you are on stage, and in fact, I would go as far as saying it's a performance when you are serving someone in a retail environment or in any business setting. You are there to create a fantasy of what it's like to work with the best in your business. So remember that. Train your people to say the right thing and to not in any way um, be um, uh, motivated to say something negative because someone asks a question that might prompt them to be a spectator rather than to be a player in the greatest performance 
in the greatest sport there is, which is advancing the success of your business. If you like this tip, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. Share it with someone in your network. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I have a lot more coming. I will see you next time.